Hello everybody, my name's Nerdy Lover, and welcome to yet another episode of our Ipswich Town save here on Football Manager 22. Uh, today we're going to do a triple header, playing Wigan, then the old farm against Norwich, and then the Carabao Cup match against Watford. Taking a look at Wigan, we uh, when we played them in League 1, we got a win and a loss, so uh, this will decide the... Uh, the balance of which team's better in the save, I suppose. Um, so let's have a look at the lineup we're going to rock with uh, in this away fixture in the championship. I love to see all the lines on that screen now. We've really got that squad cohesion going. So we've got Krylovitz in goal with Penny and Vincent Young at the wing backs. Uh, Wilford and Edmondson in defence, Harper and Morsey in the base of midfield, Chapman on the left, Edwards on the right, Fraser the number 10, and up top, Aaron Presley. Really hoping we can uh, build on our cup performance against Port Vale and put the uh, the league game against Burnley behind us here today. We can do have a couple of ex-Ipswich players in their lineup, uh, but we'll talk about that in a second as the first highlight is underway with a long ball up from Archer, straight to the feet of Ipswich Town's Edmondson. Ball on the left with Edwards, now Presley. Harper's burst through the midfield. Oh, and his shot was charged down well from the goalkeeper, Archer. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, two ex-Ipswich players in the in the Wigan lineup. Number 10, uh, Will Keane, and uh, on the right, Wes Burns. Um, you know, as as I said in the last video, I'll wrap up the, uh, the transfers that we did, but... Um, Unfortunately, Burns did force his way out of the club because um, he wasn't confident we could stay up, uh, but he thought Wigan could. So, I mean, I'd say we're two teams of the same same or similar levels. So uh, we'll see what happens here today. But uh, yeah, so he's on the right-hand side for them as Wigan are going forward here with Davis, their central striker, cut back to Lang. Naylor from range and it's past Krylovitz. And I tell you what, Collins can't come back soon enough because you know what? Your goalkeeper's going to make mistakes. Your goalkeeper's going to concede goals um, on occasion. But uh, the drop-off between our first-choice goalkeeper and our second-choice goalkeeper is quite remarkable. It wasn't an especially powerful shot from Naylor, and it was savable. I'd say it was savable from Krylovitz, and once again, he's just let the ball bounce past him. So, um, yeah, not, not the best way to start this game 11 minutes in. Cousins, formerly of Stoke, to throw the ball into Burns, now Keane. Davis and Burns is through bearing down on goal and he scored against us. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Burns has been a fantastic player in real life for Ipswich Town. Um, you know, low key, probably our signing of the season and he's my vote for player of the season so far. So it did hurt me when he did request to leave. But um, yeah, he, he sucks the uh, defenders out, played a 1 2, burst through and scored with ease. 2 0 Wigan. Matt Penny, set piece, cross cleared away by Lang. Can we keep the pressure on with Edmondson? Vincent Young, Penny's second time delivery. Presley's there, but the ball's just over the top of the net. Lowry, his set piece into Davis, but we've got that away. To the edge of the box for Burns. Naylor, Amania, Kerr. We're starting to force them back. Further still. That's it, but they're coming forward now. Davis Lowry puts Burns through. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And he scored. Tom Lowry, formerly of Crewe. Uh, Wigan poached him when they went up, and uh, they've stolen Burns off us. Two League One players connect to uh, score a goal in the championship. It's goal number three for Wigan, and we're only just half an hour in. I was hoping to put the Burnley result behind us, really, but we conceded three to them, which I thought was fair enough. Uh, you know, League One against Premier League, but we've now conceded three goals to a former League One side. We need to turn this around. They've had three attempts and scored all of them. All right, just before half time, we have a highlight, but it looks like Wigan are on the ball with Kerr. Naylor and Kerr holding the ball. Oh, if we get a fourth before half time against us there's no way we're going to come back Will Keane puts Davis through he's one on one and I think as soon as that ball went through we knew that Krylovic would not be able to save it um, I sincerely hope that the uh, 
Krylovitz, who is a Spurs Academy keeper in real life, is uh is a lot better than he's showing here on Football Manager because that was too easy. I mean, we shouldn't get a ball pass through the middle of our defence like that. That is disappointing. But four one on ones and not to even get close to any of them, it's um it's disappointing. In other news, Norwich are losing 2-0 to Middlesbrough, so uh, they are our opposition after this game. And yeah, that's right. <laughs> Even at half-time here, I'm looking forward to next game. Um, I think this is a foregone result. Um, we'll see if we can salvage anything in the second half. Archer goes long in the 66th minute. Headed down by Davis, and we're going to keep the ball. I thought Edmondson would be able to keep it. Ball over the top, cleared by Burgess, though. If in doubt, get it out, and... Uh, didn't have the faith to just play it to our sweeper keeper Krylovitz. Burns and Keane now on the ball. Out wide to Cousins. The centre mid normally, uh, but he's playing right back today. Cross into Davis, cleared by Edmondson. And we're coping well so far. Keane wide to Powell. Wide further to the full back. Cochrane. Tackle by Vincent Young, and can we spring a counter attack? He goes down the line, but uh, no one in particular. And uh, once again, we're going to keeping this pressure on us. Davis has runners. Burns is through for a hat trick. Davis offloaded to Powell. And Davis, uh, because the defender was pressing him, I think it was Burgess, was pressing Davis. He opened up this massive space in behind for the inside forward. Burns, we should see this here. Uh, the centre half gets sucked out to Mark Davis, which created that space for Powell's pass. And Burns has scored a hat trick. In his first game against us. Yeah, valued at half a million to five million pounds. His stats are not remarkable. Um, and we sold him for eight hundred fifty thousand pounds. He played most games for Wigan last season. Oh, so it was last season we sold him, not this season. Okay, sorry, that's my mistake. But still, it's his first game against us since we last played, and he's, he's scored a hat-trick. Uh, we have a chance to get one back with Presley, but it's just wide. Oh, no. 5 nil's bad enough, but we've still got another 20 minutes to go. Kane on the right-hand side tries to get a cross in. Burgess, beat Edmund, uh, Burgess beats Davis in there. Keen flicks on to Todd Kane. Cross back to Davis. And he scored three this season. I don't think he scored a hat-trick today, but um, it looks like they subbed off Cousins for Todd Kane, formerly of Chelsea. And Oh, no. So they moved Cousins to midfield and subbed off a midfielder for Kane. I think that was more of a Keen missing the ball than it was a flick on to Kane. Great cross, great delivery. And there's no way our goalkeeper, Krylovitz, on a 5.9 was going to save that. It's 6-0 to Wigan. This game better end soon. Don't know what's happened today. Absolutely had the uh, heck kicked out of us today. Two guys on a 5.9. Fraser on a 6. We never really looked like scoring. Um, and Wigan, just man for man better. Um... Not filled with confidence going into the derby match against Norwich. It is a derby day here in East Anglia. Uh, we're going to be hosting our rivals, the Canaries of Norwich. And um, yeah, based on our poor record, I think it's only fair to go for this five-back formation. We've got Krylovitz in goal still. Uh, Penny Vincent Young at the full-back. The three central defenders are Wolford and Ebenson and Burgess. The three in midfield, Walsh, Harper and Morsey. Piggott and Presley up top. We're going to try and play this cautious formation. It let us down against Burnley, but it may work for us here against Norwich. All right, mixed results for us, but we're hoping to uh, defend well and maybe get a, a point or even three against the former Premier League side. That looks strong. They've got former Ipswich player Kiefer Moore up top. They've got Kazawa and Smith as the wingbacks looking to provide that width for them. Still managed to keep hold of Cantwell despite being relegated, so he's going to be uh, trying to pull the strings for them. Um, if you offered me a point now, I'd probably take it. I know we're the home side, but uh, our backup goalkeeper is just not dependable at all. But we're going to start the game with the highlights. Vincent Young on the ball. Wolferden tries to deliver a cross, and that looks like a centre-half's cross. Ball's found its way on the left to Penny, though. 
Harper cross into Presley, couldn't latch onto it, and Sice gets it away. And Walsh is tackled, and the ball's cleared upfield. But we come again with Edmondson. And Morsey goes long, and it looks like Pickett's actually through. Reliance has kept his flag down, but Gunn saves. X-Man City and Southampton goalkeeper charges the ball down. Pickett had a one-on-one -on -one chance there. Can we get this set piece to go? Walsh cross cleared by Duffy, but we're still maintaining possession. But it is the end of the highlight. Positive start for us, though. With another set piece. Walsh cross and Burgess head is narrowly over. He did well to win that against Duffy. We're all over them, apparently, as Presley receives the ball from Wolferden. Centre half tries another cross. It's much better this time, and Pickett's header fired just narrowly over. We're starting to get on top of our rivals. And here come Norwich now. Cantwell, Shaka. Cross from Smith is a bit overcooked, but Kozawa puts it down for Hugel, who balloons it over the bar. Really their first chance. Oh, it may have taken a deflection as it's a corner for the Canaries. John Fleck to deliver the outswinging ball. Kiefer Moore flicks it on at the near post, but it's going behind for a goal kick. It looks like there's a foul in the build-up there, so we're going to have a set piece. Penny from deep. Launches one into the box. It's headed down by... Ah, oh. It's headed down by Edmondson, but the linesman had his flag up straight away. Unfortunately, we can't challenge that with VAR, but... Oh, I mean, when you see those two lines. Goalkeeper's miles out, though. He really wanted to claim that, and we took advantage of it. Um, just need to remember to be on side next time, I think. <laughs> An exciting and competitive derby so far. The only thing lacking is a little bit of shot accuracy and, uh, and of course, a goal for Ipswich Town. But uh, I think we could be proud of what we've, uh, what we've done so far in this first half. Let's praise the lads and uh, see what sort of tactical changes we want to make. I think we can allow our wing-backs just to press on a little bit further. Norwich have mirrored our formation, and they're allowing us to play a little bit. Uh, we'll try and bring Piggott into that target forward position, but I think I'm pretty happy with that going forward for the second 45 minutes. Norwich slowly starting to uh, get some shots away and claw back some possession now in the second half, um, but they're starting from the back here with Duffy. And Gibson, formerly of Middlesbrough. Goes forward to Roman Sais, who uh, they purchased off Wolves in Season 1. Levan Kozawa on the left. Cantwell's come deep to collect. Number 14 dribbles through midfield. And shot from range is... Uh, didn't really have the power to it, and it just sort of just bounced over the bar. Half an hour to go here, but we are starting to become under pressure from the Norwich attacks. Um... We need to try and get some more shots away in the box. With Norwich a bit off colour, I think we could go 4-2-3-1 at this juncture. Uh, we are going to lose a body at the final third. Presley, so we'll swap Presley for Edwards on the left. Obviously, Wolverton can't play right midfield. Um, but I want to keep him on the pitch. We'll get Burgess off for... Chaplin on the right. So we'll still keep two strikers on. We'll just have one playing out wide. Uh four, two, three, one. And we'll try and get these wingers to uh to uh, spite his poor performances in the first couple of games. Scott Fraser is the number ten. Probably be able to play more effectively there than Harper. So that that's it. Triple change and we're gonna go for this. Wolferden. Throws it into Walsh. Chaplin's there. Can the substitute make an impact? We're on the edge of the box now with Vincent Young, Wolferden, Walsh, cross from the byline, Piggott spun, yes, Piggott smuggled it in, uh, Linesman kept his flag down this time, and I don't know what's happened, because I've not really changed the uh, the tactics or the instructions too much from, uh, from the game against Burnley and the game against Wigan, but uh, instead of losing 6-0, we are now winning 1-0. Piggott scrambles it in from the Vincent Young cross. He absolutely lost his marker, had all the time to pick out that ball, and we're actually in control of this game. Penny, set piece, can we make it two? Deep to Wolferden, good save by Gunn, and we've got a corner. If we don't double our advantage here, I think I'll start to uh, sit back and not invite pressure, but try to secure our lead. Edwards, taking a little bit of time to uh, kill the clock. Targeting Walsh there, and 5 feet 8 is probably not the guy you want to aim for in the box. So let's go conservative. 
Let's try and hold this uh, vital three points for us. Because Oa uh, can't well. Saves plays the ball in, but uh, Penny gets it away. Smith sends it back in, looking for Kiefer Moore. Krylovitz flipping spilt it. Unfortunately, it was hooked wide by the by the Norwich striker. And I think we're going to get out. Yes, we're going to escape with this one. 1-0 one to Ipswich Town. Norwich, we caught them on an off day. They lost to Middlesbrough in the last game, so maybe morale was low. And Joe Pickett scored the decider, so uh, well done, lads. Um, let's bring on the... What's the next game? Watford. Watford in the Carabao Cup. And with that three points, we are, despite our minus seven goal difference, we are out of the relegation zone. I'll be honest, uh, confidence isn't incredibly high coming into this game against Watford, but... Uh, We'll rotate a little bit and we'll uh, we'll try and put in a good account of ourselves here today. And the first thing I can say is, thankfully, Brad Collins is back from his injury. He's going to be playing in goal for us today. We're going to be continuing things with our back five system. Um, I did think that for the Carabao Cup, they would show the, the lineups before the game. So that's why I didn't cover them. But uh, we'll jump on that in a second as Presley delivers a ball into Magalore and it's headed just over the crossbar. So we're going to go for our five-back formation today with Masterson, Wolferden and Edmondson at centre-halves. We're actually going to drop Magalore and Penny into these more con more traditional defensive positions. Uh, Harper, uh, Evans and Fraser in midfield with Chaplin and Presley up top. Um, Magalore's less of a... Hold on, let me just... There you go. So Magalore is more of a defensive and athletic... Um, Fullback. So we're going to have him playing as a more traditional wide defender, and we're going to have Penny as more of a wing back slash winger to try and create that width for us on the left. Watford have a set piece as Queen crosses the ball in. Ball cleared off the line by Magilor and Dishmala Sars on the ball. Edge of the box to Deli Bashiru. Mefflin. Force all the way back to Musa Wege, and we've uh, survived the first highlight against the Premier League side. <laughs> Highlight number two, 37 minutes in, so we've done well. Um, Chaplin's through from the Fraser ball. Presley, on the edge of the box, has a shot from range, and it's just narrowly wide. A whisker past the post, according to the commentator. Uh, Watford are lacking in shot accuracy here, but, uh, you know, our five-back seems to be doing the job. Collins has picked up a small knock. Um, he's not an injury-prone player, but um, maybe we're starting to turn him into one. As he goes long... Balls up with Chaplin now following the Harper ball and it's he's hooked it wide. So that's bad. That is really bad. He's one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. Um, and we might be uh, made to pay here as Watford are on the ball with Quina. Olaina. Loza. Back to the left back. He's just kept it on. Cuts back to Loza. They're playing a two-man game. No delivery just yet. Queen has shot from range. He's hit the crossbar. That's definitely a warning shot. Half-time here, and Watford haven't had any shots on target, but uh, I think we're doing quite well. A little bit disappointed that Chaplin didn't score his one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, something to build on. Start the first, uh, second half here, and Magalor goes long for Presley. He's flicked it over the goalkeeper. Linesman's not protesting, and uh, I think we've really sucker punched Watford there. Really wasn't a you know a clear goal scoring opportunity. Magalore just put a searching ball up there. It looks like Welsh, their centre back, mistimed his jump, and uh, Dolberg was isolated. And we've taken the lead against the Premier League side. I know it's only the Carabao Cup, but uh, I'd still love to go through. Let's just drop back our lines a little bit. And uh, try and play some conservative, defensive, and tidy football. Collins' goal kick in the 50th minute. He's going long in search of Presley. Welsh this time times his jump, and uh, Watford can come away with the ball with Queener. Saar hasn't actually had that much of an impact so far as Mefflin's coming forwards. Out wide to the injured fullback Musa Wege. Stood up by Penny, and now Saar's going to try and do something. He passes to Quina. Deli Bashiru. To Loza. Plays it through to Adam Holjek, who scores the goal. 
We've done really well compressing the uh, the space in between the lines, not allowing the uh, pacier players of Watford behind us. But uh, after some nice lateral passes, Lauza just had a little bit of space opened up for Hoshek. And uh, yeah, he just guided, he didn't need the power, he just guided it past our goalkeeper uh, to claim the equaliser. And uh, Juan Hernandez has just been subbed on for Watford as we can start this highlight from the kickoff. Maybe we can grab one back straight away. Who knows? Wolf are done on the ball now. Edmondson goes long, but there was no one there really. And Watford can reclaim possession with the momentum now. Mefram goes wide to Wage. Ishmael Asar. Wage. Wiener. Looks like they're playing on quite a low tempo. Sar's on the ball now. He's got that runner. Wasn't picked up by Penny or the midfielder. Wage can cross the ball in. Cleared by Edmondson, thankfully. Deli Bashiru from range. And Hodzhek. This time is offside. He looked offside, I must say. But uh, Watford scored two goals in two minutes. And we need to keep an eye on him. Uh, as he's only narrowly offside. Yeah, those late runs are, are going to kill us if we don't pit, if we don't wisen up to them. And the highlights continue with Collins going long. But Watford have wrestled back possession. Hodzhek to Aina. Two-man game right now. He's got the overlapping fullback and they've found him. Ola Ina. The pressure from Magalor. Hodzhek goes through to Loser. Who's in the box. Recycled out onto left fullback with Aina. Loza crossing to Saar. And that was his one chance of the game so far. And he came very close to scoring. <laughs> um, okay, let's do some tactical changes um, to try and survive here. Wiener's corner. Whips it in. And it's a header from Mefflin, but thankfully straight into the hands of Collins. And uh, and he and he saves. So I'm not used to uh not used to seeing that with uh Krylovitz in his stead. They've subbed on Emmanuel Denis now, and uh, he's going to look to make an impact as he goes down the line. A lot of these attacks are coming down the right hand side for Watford, so we maybe need to watch that with Wage to Quina. Edge of the box to Loza. Let's keep that space nice and compressed. Uh, try not to let them get in behind like they did just then, and Cucho Hernandez just wide. Oh, I think that's the first time they've really got behind us today, and it was almost fatal. Collins, long ball. Headed down from Penny, and Harper can secure the ball. He's through on goal now after that, after that nice through ball, but he's hit it straight at the goalkeeper. We're going to get a corner out of this, but we need to finish our one-on-ones. If Harper and Chaplin in the first half would have finished their one-on-ones, we could be looking at three goals up. Penny's set-piece delivery was quite poor, straight to Delhi Bashiru, and I'm sure that's going to be the end of the highlight. Toffolo, subbed on from Penny, cross-delivered but cleared away by Ina. Wolferden latches on to the ball, and we can maybe have another chance at sending a cross in. Toffolo from the byline, cleared away by Mefflum. He was in search for Presley, but uh, no luck today. Masterson, Wolferden, pressure still down this left-hand side with Toffolo. And we're recycling the ball. Going to slowly try and get it to the right-hand side. No, we're going left again with Toffolo. Cross to Presley. Flicks it on. It's just kissed the crossbar. Goalkeeper was stranded. Good effort from Presley. But we're coming again down the left with Chaplin and Toffolo linking up. Chaplin again. Can we get a nice ball into the box? Harper looks for Presley, but uh, it's uh, cleared with ease from Watford. But we're right back with Chaplin. He's in the box. Toffolo. Presley's there. Cleared by Salcedo and Mefflin. And uh, you have to feel that we've had our chances in this game. We've just not taken them. And with that in mind, we're going to put Masterson up top. We're going to sub on Connor Wickham. See if he can make an impact off the bench as a target forward. Go four. A lopsided 4-3-3, four, three, three, I think, is the answer. And stoppage time trickles out as we're going to go straight to a penalty shootout. So uh, Wickham couldn't make an impact in the last 10 there, but uh, I'm sure he can uh, try to help us convert from the spot. Uh, and let's have a little sort out of this. I'm starting to uh, dread penalty shootouts now um, because I don't think we've won a single one of our five shootouts so far. But Chaplin converts first, so maybe we're turning the corner here. 
as Cucho Hernandez will step up for Watford. Right foot against Collins. Never going to get there. Injury or not. That was right in the corner. Excellent penalty from the Watford man. Fraser. Penalty's taking a 16 here, so I'd be disappointed if he missed. But he scores. 2-1 to Ipswich Town. Oshek, the, uh, the man with the equaliser, the whole reason that we are going to penalties now, steps up to the spots and scores 2-2. Can Rakim Harper convert from the spot? Oh, he's missed it. Sent the keeper the wrong way. And his penalty went wide. Emmanuel Denis will take. He's been prolific in real life. And he's prolific on FM from the spot. Watford are three from three. And suddenly, the substitute Connor Wickham has to kind of save our bacon here. Steps up to the spot. And finished in the top corner. That was a very composed finish from the uh, from the Ipswich Town youth product. Lauza for Watford. 4-3. And much like Wickham before him. Much like Wickham before him. Aaron Presley needs to save us. He has to score to keep us in the penalty shootout. He is our star striker of the moment. Steps up to the spot and finishes in exactly the same manner as Wickham did. Top corner to give the goalkeeper absolutely no chance at saving the ball. But it could all be for nothing as the former Manchester United midfielder Deli Bashiru will face Collins down to uh, try and convert his penalty and send us out of the Carabao Cup. Bashiru scores. Watford a 5 from 5 which means Ipswich are 0 for 5 in the series with a penalty shootout. And I'm thinking, maybe do I add a goal for us <laughs> in the description below? If I add a goal for us to actually win a single penalty shootout. Um, I think we um, had a really good account of ourselves, but we didn't take all our chances. We missed two one-on-ones. And uh, Watford's only shot on target for the game went in. And just like that, we're out of the Carabao Cup. So... Um, I'm not sure when we're going to come back for the next episode, but um, I'll, I'll have a think about it. And in the meantime, my name's been Nerdy Lover. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, have a lovely day.